Hi guys, just wanted to shoot a quick video about the LG G Watch. Um, now, just a note about a couple of problems basically. Um, one is if you actually have to reset your phone for any reason. Um, now, I did this because I was actually testing the developer preview um, port on my um, Nexus 4 um, and I got fed up with all the bugs so I thought I'd go back to stock. Um, once you do reset your phone, your watch will not automatically reconnect again, um, even if you reinstall the Android Wear um, application on the phone, it still will not reconnect. You have to actually then factory reset the watch as well. Um, don't know if that's a bit of a bug or more of a sort of security feature um, that it has built in, um, but obviously it's a bit annoying. Um, sometimes also the apps weren't auto installed again, most of them did and the only one I had problems was with the Wear Mini Launcher which of course is one app that I'd recommend that anybody with a smartwatch definitely has, it's a very much a must have. So yeah that was the only one that didn't reinstall and it had to sort of uninstall and reinstall a couple times from the Play Store to get it to reinstall back on the watch again. Um, the other problem I had was a couple of days ago, um, for some reason I lost all vibration in the watch. Um, now I checked by doing dragging down from the top screen, doing the mute and unmute, and the vibration was working fine, but any notifications I sent through to the watch didn't vibrate. Sometimes they didn't even show up at all on the watch, but other times they did show up, but no vibration. Again, powered off the device, put it back on its dock, repowered it, restarted the device, did that a few times, restarted the phone a few times. No matter what it did, the vibration just did not come back again at all. So I don't know what was going on there, but in the end I again had to factory reset the watch and now it seems to be working fine. Obviously this is to be expected being that it's one of the first Android Wear devices to be released. It's going to have bugs, it's going to have problems. Um, you know, design oversights and that sort of thing, which is what I want to get onto next. Now, I'll have a look here and I'll show you. I'll just take the watch off. Now, on the back of the watch, as you can see, there are the five pogo pins, and then there's the reset button at the very top. Now, the top pogo pin, which is near the reset button, that is ground. The second one, um, that one actually gives out 1.8 volts and the one below it gives out 1.5 volts. The other two um, are presumably um, well one of them is data, the very bottom one I know is 5 volts in. Now if you can see the pins are not all the same colour. The two that like I said give out the voltage are slightly discoloured. They've lost their kind of gold shine to them. Now. Um, this is basically down to the fact that the watch, like I say, gives out this voltage and people have been reporting problems um, with um, basically having obviously what's going on here with the discolor the, um, the discoloring is the issue um, with the voltage and the current and if people are doing a lot of exercise or they are, and it's a hot day and they're sweating, of course because your sweat contains a lot of electrolytes in the, in the form of salt, it makes it very conductive and it's conducting current through and that's hence causing the problem. There was also um, one report um, I saw first on the All About Android show where somebody had actually got their skin actually burnt, um, you know, allegedly by the watch itself. Um, whether or not that's true I don't know. Um, it seemed at first LG weren't too keen to really sort of doing anything about it at all and sort of just you know saying oh it's not our problem um, however now they have sort of changed their mind as of um, about sort of 11 12 hours ago before shooting this video today which is Sunday the 2nd sorry Sunday the 3rd of August um, at 9.40 in the morning and um, yeah, basically they're going to release a software update to turn off the pins so that there is no voltage going out of the pins at all unless it's connected to the charging dock. Now to me that seems so obvious. Why on earth would you want voltage coming out of the pins in the first place? You know, if they can turn it off in software, why did they not do it in the first place? Who knows? But it's just one of those things. Again, like I say, it's design oversight, you know, they're just not a first generation device, gonna have problems. 
Now, whether or not I keep the LG G watch uh, forever, I don't know. Um, I might upgrade to the Moto 360 when that's released, um, hopefully in about a month or so. Um, just have to see about pricing um, and how much I can obviously get for this one if I choose to sell it. Um, now, the update, um, I'm not sure it's going to change the actual software from 4.4W, which it currently is, but apparently the build number is being changed. Um, now, according to an article I've got off the internet from a website, anandtech.com, um, they are quoting that the OTA is upgrading the watch from build number KMV78V to KMV78Y um, and now this should be rolling out over the next few days. Um, I have restarted the phone and restarted the watch and I've not got the software update yet. Um, I will just show you briefly on the watch how you actually go and manually check if there is an update available. Okay, so on the watch basically you want to swipe across, if you've got Wear Mini Launcher this is what you'll see here when you swipe across on the top right. Swipe across again, you've got these other options. So we go back to one swipe Wear Mini Launcher there, you can go down to settings and then you go to about device and then right at the bottom you've got system updates and we can click on that and say systems up to date. Um, now the other way of doing it, if I get that off, is to go to there, swipe up, you can swipe all the way down and then you can go to settings like that. So yeah, so hopefully I should get that update um, in a couple of days. Um, and when I do, I will check with the multimeter if that has actually turned off the uh, the uh, voltage from the charging pins, um, and that should hopefully solve some of the issues with corrosion. I'm not sure it will completely solve it because they're not gold plated apparently. Um, they're nickel and something else. Um, so yeah, come on, LG. You know you could have put a bit of gold plating on to to protect it a bit more, but they haven't done. So. Yeah, um, yeah, not much more I can say about that really. Um, but yeah, hopefully it fixed the issue. Um, I mean, I've been lucky that it has corroded it slightly, but it hasn't caused any issues with charging as of yet. Um, but obviously, I don't want it to corrode more, and obviously, LG don't want to be getting loads of people returning their watches under warranty, saying, "Well, hang about, you know, I want the money back, or I want a replacement." So anyway, um, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you soon. Cheers, guys.